Coastal Highway will boost 30 million businesses. This is according to Nigeria's President Bolatin. We're talking about the Lagos Calabar Coastal Highway project. Bedouin lawmakers scrap life pension for former governors. Some more headlines from Nigeria. Nigeria, Saudi Arabia to resume cargo flights. This is according to Nigeria's aviation minister, Festus Kiamu. Outside Nigeria tonight, headlines to monitoring. Israeli attack on Rafah tent camp kills 45, prompts global outcry. African leaders convene in South Africa for Energy Investment Security Summit. Those are the headlines we're monitoring at this hour. Well, tonight on Politics HQ, the city of Kano is embroiled in a crisis, a crisis over who is the rightful emir of this centuries-long seat of the emir of Kano. Is it? Mohamed Sanusi II, or is it his cousin, Aminu Bayero? I'll try to find out, but you're welcome to the Game of, Game of Thrones Kano edition. My name is Kofi Bartels, Politics HQ starts now. Welcome. Supporters of the post and mayor of Kano, Aminu Ado Bayero, Sunday, uh, is packed, uh, they were sparked by the repeal of uh, the Kano. MS Council law about Kano State Government, they thronged onto the streets uh, of um, the city of Kano. And of course, they went out in protest. Their protests were, of course, sparked uh, by the repeal of the Kano Emirates Council law by the Kano State House of Assembly. This was last Thursday, and uh, they took to the streets of the city over the weekend, uh, calling for the reinstatement of Aminu Bayero, the 15th mayor of Kano was being removed by the state governor and also demanding uh, that Governor Abba Kabir Yusuf, governor of Kano State, comply with a recent court order. Um, and we can just look at some excerpts on your screen. The repealed law uh, enacted in 2019 divided the Emirates of Kano into five jurisdictions and um, of course led to the detriment of Mohammed Sanusi as a mayor, uh, Mohammed Sanusi II as the 14th mayor of uh, Kano. Well, we hear that a group of young persons um, uh, marched through the streets of Kanu and also the streets of Gaya in protest at the repealing of that 2019 law, which had, uh, you know, cancelled or removed those five, uh, four emirates, leaving only the Kanu emirate and, of course, um, one emir. Um, these youths went on the streets expressing their anger, frustration, and discontent with the deposition of Bayero, the 15th emir. Uh, we also hear the, the demonstrators uh, carried placards with several inscriptions, you know, like uh, Aminu is still a mayor, uh, obey, Abba Kabir Yusuf, obey court order, etc. We hear there were also anti-government slogans and the lit fires on the streets of uh, Kano and uh, Gaya. Well, don't forget the governor Yusuf, as we said on Thursday, signed a new law which repealed the 2019 law, the Kano Emirates uh, law effectively dissolving the five emirates as the arrangement was set up by that 2019 Kano Emirates uh, Council law. Um, of course, now the emirates that have been dissolved, uh, the additional emirates in addition to the Kano Emirate uh, are the Rano Emirate, the Gaia Emirate, the Karai Emirate, and the Bichi Emirate. And now we have just the old order, which is the Kano Emirate superseding or superintending over all those areas. Well, over the weekend, Mohamed Sanusi II, the man you just saw on your screen, uh, met with some district heads, uh, council members, uh, women group, youth groups, well-wishers um, who were at the palace, uh, the Gidan Raya uh, to pay homage to the 33-acre sprawling um, edifice. Um, we also hear, this is over the weekend, but we hear today that uh, Amin Bayero, the deposed mayor, also received district heads. Uh, inside his palace, Nasara Palace, a mini palace in Kano where he resides for now. Now, when he landed, of course, uh, he was removed in absentia. We hear he was out of the country. When he landed in Kano State, he had um, the privilege of a military escort to take him over to his, um, his abode, the Nasara Palace in Kano. There's a whole lot going on, and uh, we want to really find out what uh, our guests think about this and if indeed um, the people of Kano are not happy. Uh, with the removal of their mayor. I want to introduce our guests tonight. Once again, like I said, welcome to Politics HQ. Um, we 
expect to be joined, and we already had the assurances that he'll be joining us, Sanusi Bature, who is the Director General of uh, Media and Publicity uh, at the Kano State Government House in Kano State. Also, we are joined by Jamilu Aliu, or we expect to be joined by Jamilu Aliu Charanchi. He's a national coordinator of the Coalition of Northern Groups. He'll be joining us from Katsina State virtually. And finally, Kabiru Dakata. Uh, he's from the Center for Awareness on Justice and Accountability. He is ready for us. He joins us uh, virtually from Kano State. Kabiru, it's good to have you uh, on the program tonight. All right, uh, what's your reaction to the return of uh, Aminu Bayero uh, to Kado in such a manner? It was uh, like a triumphant entry, and of course, uh, his claim to the throne of a mayor. Uh, it's unfortunate because it's an attempt to jeopardize the peace of the state. And this is a, a man, uh, one of five uh, deposed amirs affected by the new law of the state assembly that has been assented to by the executive governor of the state. The other four deposed amirs have accepted their fates for the interest of the peace of the state. But unfortunately for Aminu, who is obvious is being uh, influenced by some people who are not happy with the current, you know, law of the state. You know, uh, they influenced him to return to the state so that to jeopardize the peace of the state. And this is unfortunate for somebody who was once an emir in the state, now conniving with people who are known for their character of, um, you know, using talks and other means to jeopardize the peace of the state, uh, you know, all right. So unfortunate, and everybody is not happy with the with the decision taken by Amina Adobairo, the deposed Emir of Kano Central. Okay, uh, um, you 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 are saying number. You said two things. I want us to <laughs> to talk about. Number one, that um, there are certain persons who have impressed on him and influenced him negatively. It seems you seem to be saying um, to return to the state and um, lay claim to the throne. Who are these people you're talking about, Kabir? Ganduje and Co. Ganduje is the originator of all that is happening today in Kano State. Because when Ganduje did what he did in 2019, everybody, including international community, who uh, were interested in the unity of Kano State, called him to order, but he refused to listen to anybody. At that moment, when he vulcanized the, 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 emir the, 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 the emirate of the state, you know, divided the emirate into five pieces, everybody called him to order, but he refused to listen. And at the end of it, he, you know, uh, sat His Royal Highness, the Emir of Kano State, Muhammad Yusunusi II. Nobody in Kano State was happy with that development, except people who used that for political interest. But people who respect the culture the, and tradition of the state were not happy. And then a group of elders in the state wanted to see him, to call him to order, but he had... It's there. It's there in the... In, in, in the, in the, in the to listen to them. People like us who... Uh, 
about the peace of the state, we to discuss the matter, Ganduja sent talks to us, University Center for Democracy, tell us that the talks should not even allow us to sit an uh, institution in the state. We had to change our location. That was how going after anybody, you know, that wanted to say what he was doing was wrong. So Gandhi, who used the state assembly, passed change the law in just less than 48 hours, you know, brought Aminu and other emirs. knew that what Ganduje did cannot stand. It can not stand and... Okay, Kabiru, Kabiru... It's a matter of whether yeah. an NNPP government... Kabiru Dakata, we, we want to just take a quick break so we can... Uh, okay, we, we'll be right back to our uh, follow-up follow questions. Um, you have gone back to 2019, and so I want to ask a few questions regarding that. Um, but for those of you watching, we'll be right back. Please stay with us. And of course, um, don't touch the dial or the channel is still Politics HQ right here on New Central Television. Welcome back. Uh, we're still Politics HQ looking at the latest as far as the um, uh, Cano Emirship or Emirate Tassel is concerned. Of course, we are aware um, that uh, the deposed uh, Emir Aminu Adobayoro returned uh, triumphantly, it could be said, to the ancient city of Kano, and uh, we know that he has been parading himself. <laughs> I don't know if to use that word because, of course, we have um, uh, uh, a subsisting court order uh, which says that the status quo ante should remain. Um, but we hear uh, that he has been, um, you know, receiving, like I said earlier in the introduction, he's been receiving, um, uh, 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 you know, guests and officials and district heads and so on and so forth. Um, in the Nasara Mini Palace. Nasara Mini Palace is in, uh, uh, is in Kano. Um, and uh, we have pictures all over the internet of him receiving guests in his full regalia, of course, uh, performing his duty. We have joining us, earlier we had um, uh, uh, Kabiru Dakata, who is of the Center for Awareness on Justice and Accountability, joining us virtually from Kano State. We have um, also Sanusi Baturi, who is a DG, Media and Publicity. Uh, at the Kano State Government House. Sanusi Baturi, thanks for joining us. Good evening. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for having me. Um, what is the Kano State Government's reaction to uh, the arrival um, and, of course, um, uh, the performance of duties uh, of the mayor by uh, Aminu Adobayoro? We, we had, of course, he's been receiving guests, uh, sitting on his throne and, you know, decked in his full um, uh, royal regalia at the Nasarawa House. Uh, mini palace rather in uh, Kano State. The Sanusi the second is done in good and um, uh, this is in fulfillment of the campaign promises of His Excellency the Executive Governor of Kano State, Alaji Abakabir Yusuf, who promised to restore the lost glory of Kano State, both uh, socially, economically, and otherwise. So, therefore, after uh, the repeal law, which His Excellency has the constitutional mandate to sign. Uh, and he did so, and then he announced the statement of the Emir Muhammad Sanusi. Then, any any uh, of the defaults habeas who farreded himself as an Emir, I think, is violating the law because the executive governor has the executive power to reinstate or depose any Emir, uh, irrespective of uh, whatever family or dynasty he belongs to. Uh, uh, the moment that thing is done by in accordance with the, with the law or within the confines of the law, because the law mandated the governor to do what, what whatever he feel like is good to do in terms of the emirship. It's an exclusive right of the governor to appoint or deforce an emir. Mm. That's one. Uh, secondly, the the arrival of emir, the, the arrival of former emir Aminu Adobayaro is actually political. 
and uh, with uh, the intention to create mayhem in the street and um, probably he's been used by... Uh, well, uh, we hear the... Uh, I mean, we, 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 of course, we're listening to um, Baturi who was talking about uh, um, the court order um, or was talking about the arrival of um, Aminu and blaming, uh, you know, uh, just pointing fingers, basically. Um, but do we have Baturi back with us? Yes, I'm here. Okay, Baturi, please go on. Uh, we were interrupted by the network. Go on. Yeah, so, 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 so the state has secured... Uh, a court order using uh, from one of the state high courts this evening uh, restraining the former emir or the defaulted emir or the defaulted emir of uh, Kano Amin Adobairo from parading himself and other deposed emirs too, five of them. Uh, the court has restrained them this evening from parading themselves as the emirs of any of the former emirates in the state. And also, they have directed the police to eject the former emir from the mini palace at Nasarawa because that mini palace is so close to the government house, so close to the seat of power, and it can create a necessary uh, uh, crisis. So therefore, I see more of uh, his return to Kano as political because he knows truly that he's not the emir of Kano. And the emir, the new emir of Kano has assumed duty at the Emir's Palace and has been receiving allegiance from all the traditional title holders, the kingmakers and other district heads at the at the Kano Palace. So therefore, uh, for us, I think um, this is a bygone issue because uh, even the purported court order that was given by the Federal High Court uh, came over eight hours after the decision of His Excellency and therefore, and we're not even yet to be served. So therefore, we cannot be binded by that court order, uh, unfortunately, because it came at a time when decision has been taken. So a court order cannot stop an existing decision. It's an expertise. And um, if you talk about the protection of fundamental human rights of the former MS, none of them uh, was uh, threatened or intimidated or his or, uh, uh, fundamental human rights were violated. They were only asked to vacate the fallacies within 48 hours after the reinstatement or after the signing of the new repealed law of Kano Emirates uh, Council as amended 20, 2024. So therefore, unlike uh, when Emir Sanusi was deposed by the former administration of Ganduji, he was taken to a rural uh, uh, rural area in Nasarawa state and was under the custody of security agencies. But in this uh, context of Khan, none of them uh, were intimidated or was actually given uh, any condition. All that was said by the governor was to give them 48 hours to vacate the fallacies, so to allow the new law to take into effect, which uh, reunites Kano under one emirate. All right. Uh, you, you've said, you, you know, some talking points, uh, uh, Sanusi Batu, from what you've said. I uh, will come back to that um, to ask you. So, one or two questions, especially regarding the uh, court order and court injunction. Of course, we still have Kabiru Dakata also be speaking to him. When we return from this break, please stay with us. Welcome back. Uh, we just want to look at uh, some of the um, items. Of course, indeed, uh, um, uh, Sanusi Baturi had pointed out that today the Kanu Laki said the Kanu State Government procured, uh, I don't want you to read too much into his use of his word procured, a court order from a, a high court in Kanu State, that's a state high court. We'll look at the content of that. Uh, but um, Sanusi and Kabiru, please permit us to look at the content, some contents of the um, earlier order of the 23rd of May. Um, which ordered the status quo ante to remain. And I want us to just go through some of the prayers uh, in that order. If we can roll the graphics, um, we can see that uh, some prayers, for instance, um, uh, prayer number, uh, number two says, um, an order of the Honorable Court, um, okay, let's just go, yes. Some part of prayer number two, um, B, or let me take prayer number three, an order of interim injunction of this honorable court seeking, uh, suspending, not giving to effect, uh, effect two, not implementing the operation of the Kano State Emirate Council Repeal Law Number 2024, 
uh, and all that. Let me just cut the chase and go to the orders. So in order number 7B, uh, gentlemen, we have, uh, uh, we have in order number, sorry, order number 2B, yes, says the parties are hereby ordered to maintain the status quo ante, uh, ante the passage and assent of the bill into pending the hearing of the fundamental rights application. Um, so I just want to go to, to, to um, uh, Kabiru Dakata without wasting time. It's just what take, uh, it's taking a long time to get those graphics on. Uh, Kabiru, um, we heard um, uh, Sanusi say that um, you cannot make an order for something that has already been done, an action that has already been taken. The governor repealed or signed this bill into law on Thursday. This order came later after that uh, repeal bill was signed into law. Became a, so, but the, the judge ordered that the parties should maintain the status quo ante the passage and assent of the bill. So he backdated it. What do you say to this? Kabir, are you there? Okay. We're well, waiting for Kabir to come back to us. Uh, Sarusi, are you there? I'm here, yes. Okay. So, I mean, the, the judge, if you look at the order 2B, or the latter part, the last sentence of order 2, says the party, uh, parties are ordered to maintain the status quo ante the passage and assent of the bill. Now, you said that um, the bill was passed before the order. But the judge is saying, maintain the status quo before the passage of the bill. Salusi. Well, um, I think uh, we need to understand the role of separation of power. This law is um, done by kind of State House of Assembly, which has the constitutional right to react, to enact or review laws concerning kind of states entirely. So therefore, uh, one arm of government cannot stop the other for doing its own constitutional rights. But oh, so we're talking constitution. about the court here. So are, yes. you, are you saying well, that the House of Assembly is above the court? The court belongs to the judicial arm of government. The State Assembly is a legislative arm of government. And the, 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 the legislature has the constitutional right to review any law in Kano State or enact any law in Kano State. And at the time of issuing the court order, the law has been the law has passed the third reading and it was brought before the executive governor for assent. And he assented on it. So therefore, if the court is right, it's supposed to maintain the status quo ante. So that maintaining of status quo should start from the time when the court order uh, uh, is available. Right. Okay, okay. So therefore, uh the status quo we should maintain is to maintain such as school with a new law and with a new AMA of panel. Okay, of I, I want to bring in, bring in Kabiru Dakata. You've heard um, Sanusi Baturi. Kabiru, please, can you kindly sit up so we can see you better? Because, um, uh, yes. So, so he's saying that the, the, the order should, uh, uh, start with should start from after the governor signed the bill, since the, um, the court order was made after the governor signed the bill into law. But the judge, in his wisdom, said, status quo ante the passage and assent of the bill. So, the status quo before. That's the order, the passage and the signing of the bill. Unfortunately, the, the order came to the, state, uh, to the state government after the action has been taken, after the law has been passed, after the governor assented to the, to, the, to the bill. So status quo, as far as we are concerned, as far as the common sense is concerned, is to... Uh, stay as we are with Muhammad Sunusi II as the Emir of Kano State and um, Aminu Anko as but, the but Kabiru, Kabiru, of, Kabiru, status quo, status quo, there is no time or place for status quo. Status quo is what the judge or the court says it is. Ante, he says revert, he says it's in black and white. I don't know if we can roll it on our scroll, we always can see it. He says revert to the status quo before the bill was passed and signed into law. Is here is order number two um, B, or let me say the second last paragraph. 
So, so, so that, that's what I'm saying. Uh, the, the, the order was not served uh, at the right time. So it came at a time when the action has been taken. You understand? It's just like you now. Yeah, but, but Kabiru, uh, the action has been uh, taken uh, now. Uh, he's, uh, telling uh, you, he's telling uh, you, he's telling you, Kabiru, you. the judge is telling you, revert, revert to the let status quo, revert. Scenario. Let me give you a scenario. It's just like you now that is anchoring this program. After the program, you check your text message and see that your MDU is away, sent you a message by 5 p.m. telling you that the program should not take place. Uh, while you've already the, uh, anchored the program. So that was what, what we are saying. And again, Aminu Adobairo, the deposed emir of um, Kano Central, is not even a party to the, to the, to the first uh, court order. It was one Aminu Babadan Agundi who was sacked years ago. Who, who went to Supreme uh, to court, up to Supreme Court, and Supreme Court, you know, uh, affirmed that he has been sacked. And this is the person that is now trying to come back to Kano and, 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 and create confusion. And uh, uh, yeah, the but, 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 but that is beside the issue. Kabiru Dakata, what does it mean? I'm going to read Order 5. Order 5 says, the parties are hereby ordered to maintain the status quo and take the passage and assent of the bill into law pending the hearing of the fundamental rights application. What, why, is that, why, what does that mean? That no, what, what does that mean? What does that mean? Dakata, what, what does that mean? Dakata, no, Dakata, please on, answer on, my question. On, on Dakata, I'm, I'm asking you, you Dakata, I'm asking you, what, what does it mean? What does that sentence mean? Why is it that you are not quoting from the recent order? No, we're going there. We're going there. We're going there. We have time. We're going there. We'll soon get there. Yes. yes. This, is the, this, is, this is the court that has jurisdiction to, 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 to entertain. Dakar, I, I'm asking you a simple purpose. question, please. That sentence just I read. Like, see, see, as far as we're concerned, it's just, you see, we have asked a lot of, you know, people, lawyers, about this order. The court, the federal high court, has no jurisdiction to entertain even the matter. It's just like somebody going to Sharia court to obtain an order to, to stop INEC from conducting its exercise. You see, Sharia court doesn't have uh, a decent. All right, all right. So, so it's just so, like so, that. So, so uh, I'll, come, I'll come back to you, because I, I would love yes, you to tell me. It doesn't have a jurisdiction. I would love you to tell me. Tell, like tell me. Federal yeah. like court does not have a jurisdiction. Dr. I, I would like you like to like tell, tell me. It's just that some people, uh. unfortunately for them, they are, they are envying the, the, the current piece of Kano State. All right. Unfortunately. Let's, let's move on. Let's move on. I, I, I wish you could tell me on why or how the Federal High Court has no jurisdiction in this matter, but because of time. So let's go to today's, um, uh, today's uh, um, hearing. But before that, um, uh, Sanusi Baturi, we, we hear there's yes. some insinuations that um, uh, Milord the Honorable Justice Lehman, uh, Usama, sorry, the, Milord the Honorable Justice Lehman, um, who gave the first order. We hear that um, he was not, um, that's just his A.M. Lima, was not in the country um, at the time of uh, granting that order. Is there any truth to this as far as you know? Well, um, I am not an investigator. Sorry. Yes, sir. Okay, I can see. Is that His Excellency behind you? Is that His Excellency? Yeah. He can come on and say hi, so you know, point, if, he, the, if he wants to. Okay, so the point, the, the point, the point I want to make is that, um, one, I am, I, I think uh, I am not an investigator that will speak to whereabout of the judge, but what we are saying fundamentally is that, one, the court order came at a time when decision has been taken for more than eight hours. And the second issue is that uh, uh, the order is seeking to enforce the fundamental rights of the subject. And in the case of the decision of His Excellency, there wasn't any violation of anybody's fundamental human rights because the former MS were asked to vacate the fallacies within the 48 hours from the time of reinstatement of Emir Muhammad Sanusi. 
So therefore, nobody's right was violated, and so therefore there is no need for any uh, enforcement on the on the on the human rights of, of anybody. Mm. So 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 for us, I think uh, this is uh, not something that we we'll really have to. All right. Take, uh, are you concerned to... about are you concerned about some sort of discrepancy that some people have noticed in the signature? of um, Lord Honorable Justice A.H. Liman, or A.M. Liman, the presiding judge, um, on the document regarding this case, and also on previous documents where some have said his signature doesn't seem to be the same. Is that something that you, you are aware of? I've seen that in social media, and I don't want to really comment about that because... All right. Okay. All right. Uh, we want to take a break. When we come back, we'll look at today's court um, uh, order, and we'll just take your thoughts on that. For those of you watching at home, uh, it's still politics at you, wherever you're watching from, please stay with us. Welcome back, it's still politics HQ. We have uh, Sinusi Baturi, the DG, Media and Publicity at uh, the State Government House. He's a uh, spokesperson to the Kano State Governor, whom we saw probably just walking behind him while he was on air. You don't get that every day. Uh, also, we have um, Kabiru Dakata, Center of the Center for Awareness on Social, uh, on Justice and Accountability in Kano State. Uh, Kabiru, let's look at some of the contents of um, today's, uh, and thank you Frank kindly for staying with us. Let's look at some of the contents of today's uh, court order. Um, um, I mean, the order is, was granted as following. Uh, order number one, an order of interim injunction is hereby granted restraining the first, second, and third, or first, second, third, and fourth defendants, either by themselves, uh, their servants, previous and or any other persons or officers serving under them or acting on, uh, uh, in connection with any other person from parading themselves as the mayors of Kano, uh, Bichi, Gia, Rano, uh, and Karaye, uh, pending the hearing and determination of the motion and notice filed by applicants. So, uh, in your opinion, is there a conflict here? This is a, a high court um, of Kano Judicial Division. This is a state judiciary. And the first order was from the federal high court. Is there any conflict, as far as you're concerned, Kabiru? Uh, unfortunately, I'm not a lawyer, but I am a person that um, asks uh, questions and um, gets uh, clarification from yeah. people that, uh, that are concerned. As far as we are concerned, uh, it's a matter of jurisdiction, and what the lawyers always say is when you have an issue to do with chieftaincy affairs. So the state high court has a jurisdiction and the federal high court just does not have a jurisdiction. But what we are talking about here is um, about the people that are in the matter. For instance, if this recent order, uh, if the, the plaintiff, you know, do the right thing by serving uh, the dependents, then they, 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 they are doing the right thing, uh, unlike what the first um, plaintiff did. They could not, they, 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 he could not do the right thing at the right time. So the, the court officials did not serve the parties in the matter on time. But this one, the order came today, I hope they will do the right thing, uh, the court officials, to go and serve the parties in the matter. So if that has been done, then we can say, uh, the, 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 the order from the, 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 the state high court has some uh, elements of, um, you know, uh, validity, you know, that to, be, to, 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 to be effective. Mm. All right. And um, I want your thoughts on the second order, that an order is hereby granted to the extent that the commissioner of police uh, of uh, Kano State should immediately uh, take over the palace of the emir. Uh, of the canals of Kano, situate uh, being and lying at the state road Kano, and evict evict yes. uh, the first defendant and responded from the said palace pending the hearing and determination of the motion and notice dated 24. So I have a, I have a prayer I have a prayer here. Oh, I want to make an appeal. My appeal goes to the commissioner of police and the the post emir of Kano Central Aminu Adubayo. We don't want it to go to that level. So we are appealing to Aminu to quietly vacate the mini palace. You know, 
we still respect him. So we don't want it to go to a situation where the police will eject him. But, but, that, but, that is, but that is what the court order says. And that is why, I, even if the, that was the court, what, what court order says, by the time the police gets there and uh, Aminu is not there, who will they eject? That, was, uh, that is what I'm saying. He should honorably okay. leave the palace. Okay. Okay. That's my appeal to him. This is, this is a court order, you know, directing the, the commissioner of police to take an action. But the commissioner so of police, I, I, the commissioner, I, I, commissioner of police has said that they will obey the court order. He was referring to the first one issued by the federal high court. Now, uh, Aminu Bayero, um, his eminence can say, this is a court order that says the status quo should be, be maintained. I'm staying here. I'm not going anywhere. So which order would the police... I don't even... I don't... See, let, let's use common sense now. Let's... let's, let's um, uh, uh, morality first. Five of you, the four, accepted their fate. Why you? Why you? If not because, like I said earlier, he's been influenced by some people who are not happy with the current peace in the state. So, 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 so what, what, if, what if he says, and what should the CP do? Because the CP has, on one hand, a court order from the Federal High Court in Kano State, with Justice A.M. Liman. On the other hand, he has a, a court order from the State High Court. Both have been served on him. My advice on the order of Justice Liman is to first verify the validity, because I just watched you showing two different signatures so we need to first of all verify to know whether that that signature is authentic or is being forged by some people because these people can go to any land remember the 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 the, the election uh, petition at the court of appeal when the when the ctc came we showed something different i'm sure you still have that in your memory so we need to verify the validity of that order that came from Justice Liman because we are seeing an original signature of Justice Liman and it does not look like the one on that order, the, 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 the so-called order from Justice Liman who, who we believe is not even in the country. You understand? So, so we need to be careful. Kano State, we have this experience in the election petition at the Court of Appeal. The, the CTC was saying something different from the oral uh, this in judgment that took place in the court. Now we are having something similar, so we should be careful. But this one now, the state order is very clear. And it came at a time when even an action has been taken right. also, because four of the five AMS already left. They said, oh, we have taken we have accepted it in good faith. It's only one person who is being, you know, influenced by some people who are not even, who are not even, you know, uh, happy with okay. the peace we, of we, the we state. Okay, we have to go. We have to go. Kabi, but Kabi, before we go, it, it seems like the people of Kado are not happy with Governor Abba uh, Kabar Yusuf um, because they, we hear there have been protests on the streets of Kano. That, that protest is sponsored one. Come to Kano, you are a journalist. Send your reporter to Kano, everybody is happy. You know, people are going their normal businesses. Everybody is happy. This is something that people have, been, right. wait, have been waiting for. All right. Kabir, for we have to go. Years. For Kabir, thank you. Years. Thank you very much. Uh, Kabir, uh, sorry, I've been calling you uh, Kabir. Kabir Dakata, Center of the Center for Awareness on Justice and Accountability. Um, thank you so very kindly for your time. Uh, so we're trying to give us a feel of what is happening in Canada. We'll definitely we have our reporters on ground already, and uh, we'll be hearing from them subsequently. Thank you for your time. Thank you very much. Kabir wants to keep talking. But we have to leave it at that. Uh, earlier, we had the compliments of Sanusi Bachiri, um, the spokesperson of uh, the Kano State Governor, whom we saw, I think, uh, walking by uh, while he was live on TV. My name is Kofi Bartels. That's what you get on Politics HQ across the programming on um, New Central Television. We'll be having updates on the situation in Kano State. See you tomorrow. Good night. For Adigboye, let's talk.